In this video, we will learn five impressive and helpful features of selected Google applications. First in the list is the live captions ability of Chrome browser. To activate live caption in Chrome browser, go to the three dot symbol or more option symbol at the upper right corner and select settings from the menu. On the next screen, go to the left side, click advanced and choose accessibility. At the middle of the screen, click the slider beside live caption to enable it. Wait until the speech files finish downloading. Now that it has been downloaded, let's test if it works. For example, this is a video recording generated by Google Meet after a meeting. As we can see at the bottom of the screen, a box appears that contains the text of what is said by the speaker on the video. We can also use the live caption feature to social media and video sharing sites, podcasts, and radio content applications. The second incredible feature is the version history of Google Jamboard. This allows us to know what changes have been made during a specific date and time and who made those changes. For example, we would like to know what modifications have been made and who made such on this jam. Click the three dot symbol or more action symbol at the upper right corner of the screen and choose see version history. Version history sidebar will appear on the right side of the screen. If the account you are using is paid Google Workspace Edition, you will be able to see the names of the users. Simply click the version name. By default, it is the date and time or the username to view the previous frame content or appearance. For example, this is the file before sharing it with other users. If there are multiple changes occurred in a day, click the arrow to expand. Click the version name or the username to see what has been changed. Click the arrow again to collapse the detailed view. Suppose you would like to restore the old version, simply select it in the version history sidebar and go to the upper left corner to click the restore this version button. Alternatively, click the three dot symbol or more action symbol beside the version name and choose restore this version from the menu. This menu also contains the ways to name the version and to make a copy of that version. At this point, let's take a look at what appears in the version history sidebar for Google Jamboard Free Edition. As we can see, we still have the same abilities in the paid version. However, the names of editors or users of the jam are labeled as anonymous. Let's proceed to the third practical feature. Google Docs allows us to easily add an in-text citation and insert a bibliography. Here's how. Click the Tools tab and select Citations. Citation sidebar will appear on the right side. I already added three examples of website sources here. Let us add another citation source. For example, choose APA. Choose one from the source type menu. Let's say TV series. In the accessed by, select on TV. Type in the first name and last name of the executive producer the series title, the production company, and the published year. Click the Add Citation Source button once done. As we see, the source is now included in the list. To add an in-text citation, simply click the Cite button at the upper right side of the source. To insert a bibliography, Simply go to the area where it will appear and click the Insert Bibliography button. Edit if needed. The fourth functional feature is a rich text formatting in Google Classroom. For example, let's make an announcement on the stream page. Here are the formatting tools. Bold, Italic, Underline, and Bulleted List. On its side is the clear formatting symbol. Suppose here is the announcement. Let's emphasize these texts. Italicize the date. Underline this word. And make these sentences in a bulleted list. 
here's how it will appear after posting. For the fifth feature, let's go back to Chrome browser. Here we can find another astonishing feature. This is how to generate QR code that can be shared with others. This is an alternative to a long website address. Here's how to generate one. Suppose this is the video that we would like other users to watch. Instead of giving out the website address, click the address bar, then go to the right side of it. Click the create QR code symbol. QR code will be generated and can be downloaded to distribute to others. This QR code can be scanned by those who has its copy and they will be directed to its equivalent website address. We come to the end of this video. I hope I was able to share with you some surprising features of Google applications. Please comment down below other features that you also find useful. Thank you for watching.